to Genji Shuriken. Can you spot the difference? Which one is a 100 micron version, do you think? Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind, create yourself. That's what it's all about. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, then you can do it as well. It is Friday, I'm at my grandparents' place and we're working on 3D printed parts and we're kind of desperate. It's terrible. It's really freaking terrible. I still need to, you know, not enough knowledge. That's genius. That's freaking genius. And now, short training session, short. Screw you. Oh! Are you serious? What the hell? I just noticed that I lost all the footage from the rest of this day. So let me just redo it. It's already Sunday, by the way, but it doesn't matter. Let's get to the topic for this vlog. 100 microns versus 200 microns. I know it was long overdue, so let's get right to it. So there we have it, two Genji Shuriken. Can you spot the difference? Which one is a 100 micron version, do you think? Well, <laughs> well, now you can probably tell the difference. It is way more prominent than I expected it to be. But I have to be fair, this is printed with the old printer and this is printed with the new one. And of course, this one is the 100 micron version right there. I don't know why, but this is more shiny and this is like matte. And again, the 200 micron version of the new printer looks a lot better and I will also cover this in my upcoming spinner reviews. So that's the 200 micron version and as you can see from up close, you're able to see the layers and all the details. It's just not that refined. And now in comparison, the 100 micron version and this thing is freaking perfection. It's unreal. You can still see the layers if you take a really close look but it's just pure perfection it's amazing and i'm definitely going to bring back the 100 micron version as soon as possible because oh my god it's so good looking it's amazing one dude actually ordered three of them so i thought before packing it up and shipping it just you know covering it in a vlog just documenting the epicness last week's i got a lot of questions asking me like, is it more stable or what's the difference? I don't think that it's more stable, but like just the look. 100 microns looks just so much more refined. It almost looks like injection mold plastic right there. It's crazy. It's taking twice as long with twice as many layers, which of course is a very significant increase. <laughs> well, it's a significant difference. So there we have it, 100 micron version. What's the difference? Definitely the looks and well, of course the price. And again, I will get to all of my 100 micron versions in my reviews coming soon, you know, <laughs> as always. But anyways, that's it for today and I will see you tomorrow.